I went, I saw a machine very similar to this at uh, your place in Germany. What's new? Okay, so what's new? Uh, at the time we showed you the four-axis machine, here we're launching at Emo for the first time, the five-axis version of this machine. Yeah, really interesting. Yeah, and so here on the right-hand side, we have a tool magazine uh, for ca uh, holding up to 80 tools. Uh, it's kitted out and prepared for Capto C6 and also Capto uh, C8. That's a lot of tools, isn't it? That, you know, a lot of flexibility on the machine. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, we've looked at uh, various different products and the uh, decision was that uh, most of our customers will probably not be machining one product on the machine, but many different. And so we decided, together with a little bit of research in the market, that 80 suited uh, this particular machine design perfectly. Yeah, you mentioned the market. This fits anything, doesn't it? Probably not a, a watch manufacturer, but everything else, medical, aerospace, yeah, to, yellow goods. Yeah, indeed, yellow goods, and these are the target areas. Yellow goods, uh, hydraulic motor industry. Yeah, and I'm sure we'll also find other areas of industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a mill turn machine. It's all about multifunctional machining uh, to really tight tolerances, and we can talk about that a little bit later on when we uh, introduce some of the other features. Yeah, it, it's huge, isn't it, that B-axis? What, what's the motor power? Okay, so on the on the B axis here, we have a motor spindle, and that's up to 34 kilowatt, which is quite a powerful spindle there for the milling and drilling tools. Uh, and of course, so let's talk about the main spindle. In fact, maximum power of 106, uh, but actually at 100% uh, duty cycle, 84 kilowatt. So that's no mean available power level. Wow, it's incredible. Yeah, it is. What control do we have? Yeah, on here we have the uh, the FANUC 31i controller. Uh, the front end uh, is based upon the EMAG uh, standard, if you like, uh, layout. And so when you look at many of our machines, it looks very similar. But of course, we have also special masks that are applicable to the machine as well. And it's got the, the build quality you would expect from an EMAG? Of course, that goes without saying. It's the, the mineral it machine bed, uh, which has proven to be very, very successful over the years. And I know it's taken us a while to do this interview. We couldn't get in front of the machine. It's been a, a popular attraction. Yeah, for absolutely sure. The, um, uh, so many people around here over the last three days, and uh, it is rather difficult. And I think it's now the advantage of having the, uh, the Y axis on the machine that really is pulling all the interest, and uh, especially the spindle power that's available. Mm -hmm.